guys. I'm Jesse, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing 50 Polaroid picture ideas. And the reason I'm doing this is because I recently got a Polaroid camera myself, and as soon as I got started taking pictures and got like the basic pictures out of the way, like family, friends, and like my dog and my cat, after that, I really didn't know what else to take pictures of, so I decided to make a list of ideas of what I could use for pictures, and I thought, why not make this into a video? Because when I went on YouTube to figure out some ideas, I really couldn't find any videos. So that's why we're doing this video today, and feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. That would really help me out so much, and let's get started. I have a list on my phone in case you see me looking at my phone, that's why, and I'm gonna get the basics out of the way. So number one is your pets. Number two is yourself, you know? Take a selfie of yourself, ask your friends or your family to take a picture of you. Number three is your friends. Number four is your family. And number five is scenery. So go out, walk around, see if you can find a pretty landscape and take a picture of it. Number six, I put as the sky and I realize that when you take a picture of the sky, it doesn't really work. These are two pictures that I took with my Polaroid camera and I tried to take a pretty picture of the sky. This is not what the sky looked like. It did not look plain. And this one kind of like had a little, it has like a little dark spot right there, which I have no idea what that is. That's not, it wasn't in the picture when I took it. But I realized that taking a picture of the sky doesn't really work. So you could actually just take a picture of the treetops, like a bunch of trees together and take a picture of the treetops, kind of like this, but get more of the trees than the sky because the sky doesn't really show up. And I didn't know that the sky doesn't really show up until I took the picture. I'm glad that I could learn that so I could tell you guys about it. Number seven is your favorite shoes. Number eight is a vintage car that you see obviously it doesn't have to be yours we don't all have a vintage car sitting in the garage ready to be taken a picture of so go out if you see a cute vintage car take a picture of it number nine is the trees and I know I mentioned that you could take a picture of all the trees together with a treetop but I'm talking about from like a downward angle from the ground from like a low angle to the ground with a Florida camera facing up to the trees number 10 is animals outside in their natural habitat so if you find a squirrel take a picture of it if you can before it runs off or like a bird or anything that you you can really find outside that is in its natural state. Number 11 is the beach or a lake, whichever one is closest to you. I don't have any beaches near me, I only have lakes. So number 12, while you're at the beach or a lake, find a pretty boat and take a picture of it. Number 13, while you're still at the beach or the lake, take a picture of your wet footprints in the sand. Number 14 is gather all of your friends, put all your hands in or your legs, whatever you prefer, and take a picture. Number 15, find a statue near you or around you and take a picture of it. Number 16, take a picture of yourself holding the Polaroid camera in front of a mirror. Number 17 is find a super tall building near you and take kind of like a downward angle of the building. So you're facing the Polaroid camera up to the building to take a really cute kind of like artsy picture. Number 18, if you see a bunch of ducks or geese walking around, try to take a picture of them. Or number 19, find a cute pond and take a picture of it. Or even better, number 20, a pond with cute ducks in it. Number 21 is go out and about and find street art. I see a lot of street art, whether it be like on a train that's passing by or a building. Honestly, I'm pretty sure no matter where you are, there's always gonna be street art. Number 22, the sunset. Number 23, the sun setting. Number 24, put all the forward pictures that you've taken so far and take a picture of them. Kind of get them set up neatly and make them all look cute and then take a picture of it. Number 25, a pretty field of flowers or just straight up grass if you can't find a pretty field of flowers. Number 26 is kind of weird to explain because it looks really cute in my head but it's like weird saying it out loud. So lay down, kick your feet up to the ceiling or the sky and make your legs look cute and take a picture of it. Number 27, find a pretty area whether it be in your room, in your apartment, in your house, outside. Take your favorite Polaroid picture and hold it up and take a picture of your favorite Polaroid picture. Number 28, if you have indoor plants, whether they're real or fake, plant pictures end up really freaking adorable. And I don't know why, a Polaroid picture of a plant I always find is really, really pretty. Number 29 goes back to the street art. So if you already took a picture of the street art, now take a picture of you standing in front of it. So ask a friend or family or a stranger, whatever works best, and ask them to take a picture of you. Number 30, if you have a collection, whether it be a collection of rocks or anything, take a picture of your collection. Number 31, go find some train tracks, make sure it's safe and that you're not going to get run over and killed and take a cute picture sitting down or standing in front of the train tracks. Number 32, go to your nearest grocery store or flower store and take a picture of all the flowers bunched up together. Number 33, take a Polaroid picture of somebody taking a picture. Number 34, take a Polaroid picture of a stack of books. 
Number 35, if you have a Polaroid picture wall, take a picture of your Polaroid picture wall. Number 36, if you're out at a restaurant with friends or family, take a picture of your plate of food before you devour it. Number 37, find a garden, whether it's your garden or somebody else's garden, and take a picture of it. Number 38, go find a really nice house. Like you know when you're driving and or your parents are driving, your friend is driving, and you're just looking out the window and you find a really, really pretty house and you're like, dang, I wanna live in that house. Go find that house and take a picture of it. And don't get caught because I think that's illegal. Number 39, just take a picture of inside of a restaurant of everybody doing their thing and being in their own space and make sure the flash is off. I actually don't know if you can turn off the flash on certain Polaroid cameras, but if you can't, then you might not want to do this one because then people are going to stare at you and like, yeah, people are going to stare at you. Number 40, make a bubble bath and take a picture of the bubble bath. Number 41, if you have a chalkboard or any type of board that you can write stuff on, go ahead and write something nice on it inspirational or positive and take a picture of it. Number 42, take a picture of a bunch of balloons. Number 43, a baseball field. Number 44, a hockey ring. And number 45, a basketball court or any other sport related thing that I may not be thinking of right now. Number 46, go to a cake shop or a cupcake shop, whatever you find, or even bake a cake at home and take a picture of it. And number 47 and 48 is repeat the same thing with cookies and cupcakes. Number 49, depending the season, take a picture of whatever season related thing it is whether it be pumpkins Christmas lights a turkey Easter bunny take a picture of it and number 50 is a map find a map whether little or small and take a picture of it and that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below that would help me out so much okay guys well that was 50 Polaroid picture ideas I hope this helped you come up with some ideas for your own Polaroid picture wall if you want to create one or just in general you want to take pictures with your Polaroid camera and you didn't have any ideas I hope this helped you come up with some and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!